How's it going guys? Today we're going to be disassembling the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And just to note, I'll be putting links in the description for replacement adhesive or tools you'll need to take the phone apart. Alright, let's get started. First thing you need to do is remove the SIM tray. Next, go ahead and heat the back up with the hair jar or heat gun, whichever you prefer. And then if you want, you can use a suction cup to help you get leverage to lift the back plate up a little bit. So you can get one of your pry tools in between the back plate and the frame of the phone. And once you get your plastic pry tool in between the frame and back plate, you're just going to pry the back plate work your way all the way around so you can loosen up the adhesive and just pry the back plate off. All right, once you loosened up all the adhesive, go ahead and pry the back off. All right, next you have 16 Phillips screws you need to remove throughout the phone. Go ahead and remove all those screws. All right, next you're gonna peel up the wireless charging pad over here. That's held on with some adhesive to the plastic frame, the plastic cover. Just lift it up like that. Then you're gonna remove the top part. That aside. Now we're going to remove the bottom plastic cover. So basically, here's your speaker assembly, your loudspeaker down here. Next, we're going to disconnect the battery cable over here. Now go ahead and disconnect the screen cable over here. Just pop it up. And then go ahead and disconnect the headphone jack cable down here. Put that up. Now we're gonna disconnect the front facing cameras over here in the top corner. Go ahead and remove those. Now there are three more Phillips screws you have to remove. There's two down here and one in the corner over there. Go ahead and remove those. All right, now we're gonna remove the headphone jack. Next, we're gonna lift up the main board and remove it. You can lift it up from the top. And over here you have your back facing main cameras. Go ahead and disconnect those from the back of the main board. Now we're gonna remove the cameras, but you're gonna have to pry it up from where the yellow colored plastic is because they're attached to that plastic. All right, now on the back side of the motherboard, I don't know if this is some kind of like a thermal pad or heat transfer pad or what it is, but we're gonna remove that. Take a look at it. So 
It looks like some kind of like a heat transfer pad. Got some thermal pads underneath it, which make contact with the processor underneath and over here as well. So basically, this lies on top of this copper piece over here, which is the vapor chamber, I believe. And it transfers the heat there. So when it's sitting down like this on there, it makes contact with that copper heat pipe or the vapor chamber over here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to peel off this protective tape right here. Here it is. This is the vapor chamber. Pretty thin. So at this point you're left with the mid frame over here, the power button, the volume keys and so forth with the flex cables. Your earpiece speaker over here, the battery. You have your vibrator motor over here. All right, so you're gonna heat up the front of the screen so you can loosen up the adhesive. And then if you need to, use a suction tool to help you get leverage in between the screen and the frame. And then once you do, go ahead and take your plastic pry tool, put it inside, and be careful you don't go too deep so you don't damage the screen. First you're going to work your way around the edges and then you're going to go deeper little by little. All right, so now we're gonna pry the screen off. Gently, be careful you don't cut the cable. Pass it through the mid-frame. All right, so this is the inside of the screen. or the back part of the screen. Put this aside for a second. Here's your mid-frame over here. Let's flip this over. All right, so here's the embedded fingerprint scanner on the back of the screen, which detects your fingerprint scans over here. And it goes over here, connects to the flex cable for the screen. There's a protective tape over here, which you go ahead and remove. And there's a lock on the connector, which you have to pop up. All right, so once you got the latch unlocked, which is in the 
up position. There's some strong adhesive underneath here. You're gonna have to pry up underneath the cable that sits on top of the screen cable. Once you got that up, you're just gonna slide the cable out of the socket over here. So basically once you got the cable loose, it is glued down over here to the screen. So there's no way of actually replacing it. I don't think it's user replaceable because you basically have to break it off and I don't see how you're gonna attach a new one here. So probably the assemblies in the future when they release them, the parts or replace some parts, they're gonna come with a screen and the fingerprint scanner attached, pre-installed basically. So we're gonna reconnect the cable or slide it back in to its slot. Want this back in, go ahead and press the lock down, which is the black tab. All right, so in order to remove the battery, you're gonna have to heat it up and you're gonna have to just pry it off. Now for the vibrator motor, it has some adhesive underneath it, just pry it off. Now for the earpiece speaker over here, just pry it off as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the USB speaker back in. Now we're gonna put the vibrator motor back in. Now we're gonna put the battery back in this place. All right, next, you're gonna take your mid-frame assembly over here if you need to, apply a new adhesive around the edges, and then you're gonna slide the cable to the slot over here. And then you're gonna reseat it back in position and place. Next we're gonna take the copper vapor chamber and put it back in its place. All right, next we're gonna put the cameras back in, pop in its place, and go ahead and connect the cables. Now we're gonna put the main board back in. The bottom goes in first where the charger port is. Make sure your cables don't get stuck underneath it. Once it's in place, go ahead and put your screws back in, the three Phillips screws. Now go ahead and pop in your headphone jack. And then go ahead and connect it back to the main board. And connect your screen cable. And then we'll put the front facing cameras back in its place. Now if you see over here, there's two additional spots over here that are open for chips to be soldered on. I don't know if that's gonna be for the 5G modem, for the 5G 
uh, S10 Plus that's going to be coming out. But that's what I would assume for the open slots over here. Next we're going to get the plastic cover for the bottom area with the speaker assembly over here. And put that in. And then we're going to connect the battery cable over here to the main board. And then we're going to put the top plastic cover over here with the wireless charging pad right here back in this place. Once that's back in, go ahead and put all 16 Phillips screws back in. Now once you have all your screws in place, you can apply some new adhesive if you need around the phone. And you can put your back plate back over. And if you need to, you can apply some heat. And you're done.